Hey, so today I wanted to share with you a little mind hack for dealing with uncertainty. Um, it's something that we come up against when we start to transition a business away from uh, some of the ways we used to do things and start to explore new ways of working, uh, new insights, new perspectives. All of a sudden we can be thrown into this world of sort of uh, tumultuous change and uh, we don't necessarily have all the answers and sometimes it can be quite a lot to deal with. So the story I have for you today is actually uh, it comes from one of the clients that I used to work with in Melbourne who has to be one of the most courageous women I think I've ever met. Like ruthless at looking for feedback, absolutely adamant that she was going to make change in herself for better. And um, she hit me up one day and she said to me, look, I come into the office and I'm really struggling with everything that's going on. It's total chaos every day. She said, I, I go home at the end of the day, I'm exhausted, I'm frazzled. I, I don't deal well with the constant moving and shifting and changing. It's just, it's causing me stress. I'm not sleeping well. It's, it's all getting too much. She said, what do you walk in the door and you seem to be able to kind of cope with it. Um, like, what are you doing differently? What's going on in your head? And um, I paused, I thought about it for a moment, and, um, and then I started laughing, and she said, this would be good. I said to her, well, you might see me walking into the office every day and, and sort of floating through and, and fixing things here and there, and it, and it looks like there's this facade of, of um, coping with it. But I said, you don't get to see me outside of the office. So I said, if you watched me in my daily routine, uh, the first thing that I do when I head to the office, I was living in North Carlton at the time, for those of you that, uh, that know Melbourne well, um, and I, I said, I, I walk out my door and I get on the number 96 tram, which is right outside my door, um, and that tram will actually take me pretty much to the door of the office that we were working in at the time. I said, but I don't do that. Every morning is the same. I get on the tram, and I take the tram to the Burke Street uh, corner of Swanston Street and I get off at the Swanston Street stop. At that point I turn left down Swanston Street, I cross over Little Collins and then between Little Collins and Collins Street I turn right and I jaywalk across Swanston Street. I then keep heading down Swanston, make a right turn and cross over Collins at the tram stop at Swanston Street there and head down a little alleyway. Uh, at the end of that alleyway is my favourite coffee shop and every morning I go in there and I get my coffee just get my little, it was a soy latte at that time, in my takeaway coffee cup and then I leave the coffee shop and I walk down Flinders Lane, I turn right to head up uh, towards Burke Street, I make a left and I walk down the left hand side of the road, sorry Collins Street, I walk down the left hand side of Collins Street all the way until I make it to the office and then I come in the back door and I head up and there we go and I said what it, the reason I'm laughing is because I think what's actually going on is that my body is clinging to the last vestige of consistency and habitual activity and and the the last moment of familiarity until I hit that office and it's complete chaos and and we spend our day kind of working through and um, we're at this point where we're fighting a lot of fires. So I said, so whilst it might appear that and I cope well with uncertainty in your eyes, actually what's going on is that I've created all of these little habitual patterns of behavior outside of the office, which mean that actually we can cope with what's going on. And so then we both started giggling and I said to her, okay, so let's try this. Where can we find uh, ways for you to build in habitual patterns and behaviors outside of the office, if you know that eight hours a day or 10 hours a day or longer is going to be really stressful and it's going to ask a lot of you in terms of dealing with uncertainty um, and not knowing all the answers and that's really uncomfortable, then what can we do either side of that to help to build routine and to build in that sense of certainty for you? Is it your gym routine? Is it your uh, evening meal routine? What's going to do the trick in terms of building in some consistency so that when you get to the office, you've kind of satiated that need um, and, and you've got the capacity 
for the uncertainty and the change. Um, so that was, that was the first thing we did. And the second thing we did was we actually went through and we said, right, for these three things that come up, these three types of problems that come up in, in the office day to day, you are able to go hell for leather on um, your need for certainty. So the data behind decisions, how are we measuring that? Where's the feedback loop? You're allowed to dive as deep as you want into needing the certainty around the structure for feedback and measurement and data, and you just, you go for it. But these other three or four things over here, I need you to really hold back. And that's the point where you need to start coping with the fact that you're incredibly uncomfortable about not knowing the answer, but you've got to let the team do their job and you've got to pull back from that and you've got to keep letting go and, and let it run its course. Um, and so we, we actually went through this for, for the, the following few months and the change was noticeable. And so uh, it's one of those strategies that I've employed again for other clients, and it was it was great to work through it with this with this person. She was um, she was onto it, and she really stuck to it. And within the space of just a couple of weeks, you could see visibly that the stress had, was starting to sort of just drop back a little bit. She wasn't quite as agitated and hyper in the office, and able to just drop into okay, that's outside of my control, but that's in the category of things that I need to let go of. And these things, we're going to make sure that we're really certain. So if you're struggling with uncertainty, by all means, um, I thought it was a great trick to employ in terms of just balancing out where you've got the consistency and the certainty and the familiarity, and then knowing that you need to step into that space of not knowing as well and, and finding that balance within your day. Give it a go. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have a wonderful week.